think you have to read out the gravitational effect of those planets. Hi, I'm Alicia, and this is NASA Now. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Since 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has earned its place in history as the most significant advance in astronomy since Galileo's telescope. Our view of the universe and our place within it has never been the same. Today, we're going to discover what it takes to maintain a telescope like Hubble. That's ahead. First, here's what's happening at NASA now. Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope helped astronomers unlock a long-standing mystery found in the Large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy. Scientists could see a supernova remnant located in the cloud galaxy 170,000 light years away, but they had no explanation for how it came to be. It was Hubble that solved the mystery of the supernova when it detected evidence of two white dwarf stars spiraling closer and closer until they collided and exploded. The resulting supernova is the type that releases so much energy it is often brighter than an entire galaxy of stars. The most powerful tools scientists have for probing the universe are space telescopes high in orbit above the Earth. Whenever repairs or upgrades are needed to one of these orbiting telescopes, it requires a mission with special teams, tools, and training to carry it out. It's a complex and challenging process, and Russell Werneth from the Goddard Space Flight Center is here to explain. Discovery, go for Hubble release. Hubble Space Telescope is one of NASA's observatories in space. It's about 350 miles up, it is always orbiting the Earth, and it's always looking into outer space. My role with the Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission team was EVA manager. EVA stands for Extravehicular Activity, and that's NASA speak for astronaut spacewalks. My team built the tools, trained the astronauts, went through the procedures, and monitored what the astronauts did on five servicing missions to make sure things were successful. We designed pieces to be taken apart from Hubble. Solar arrays could come off, scientific instruments could come out and be replaced, or we got new technology. Hubble Space Telescope servicing missions are things that are really planned well ahead of time. We have to make sure that we consider the environment of space. So when we design a tool, we have to be concerned that it's going to be used in virtually zero gravity. We have to make sure that the astronauts can handle and have an attachment point for it. We have to go through a lot of considerations that are different from designing a tool for us to use in our house or in our car down on Earth. The engineering design process is so important for us to follow because we're servicing an instrument in space. We have to make sure that everything's gonna work or we have a backup if it doesn't work the first time. We start out with a problem we make sure we clearly define and understand the problem, and then we come up with possible solutions after we have listed all the requirements and all the restraints. So with those possible solutions or alternatives, we start looking into which ones might be feasible and come up with a promising possible solution to our original problem. When we get the feedback from the astronauts, we find that we do have to redesign. There have been tool holders and tools and attributes on tools that we have had to change because we're not the end users. The astronauts are the end users and they find a new way as we practice and we train and some of that's done underwater so we take care of the neutral buoyancy aspect of underwater tests. 
The advice I'd give to any student in high school, middle school, if their first design isn't successful, don't take it as a failure. That's part of the process. We always make mistakes. Think of that as either a challenge or an advantage that you've uncovered something that might come up later and it gives you a chance to go back down another path and come up with the appropriate design. Performing operations in space is a major task and it takes lots of preparation. See how good your engineering design skills are with this project. In this experiment, you and your students will be able to follow the design process by creating a passive solar hot water heater. To learn more, look for the featured lesson, Engineering Design Process on the Moon. You can find it on the NASA Explorer School's virtual campus. Well, that's it for NASA Now. Be sure to visit our Facebook page and leave a comment. We'll see you next time on NASA Now. NASA Now comes to you from the virtual campus at NASA Explorer Schools.